Yes. Wes. Wes and I. 14 eyes. this item is adopted. In a unanimous vote today, the Los Angeles City Council voted to move forward with plans to form an unarmed crisis response team that would respond to nonviolent 911 calls for service instead of LAPD officers. That's a huge lift to change from the way you've been doing things for decades, the way you've always done things, to change even in a, in a, even in a small way. The motion to divert nonviolent calls away from the LAPD was introduced back in June at the height of civil unrest following the death of George Floyd during protests for racial justice and a movement to defund the police. The city council says today's vote is a significant, tangible step forward. But to black people in particular, we hear you. We're going to respond to you and we're going to begin to make substantive reforms that you can see. The motion calls for the unarmed teams to be modeled after a program in Oregon, which would enable 911 operators to dispatch mobile contracted specialists for nonviolent calls that include mental health, substance abuse, suicide threats, behavioral distress, conflict resolution, and welfare checks. We have failed people who really need our assistance. The majority of them happen to be black and brown, who are struggling with mental health issues and homelessness and to give the police department more to handle i don't think it's fair council president nuri martinez said angelinos will get help from trained professionals and the unarmed response teams will free up police officers to do the work they are trained to do we also have to be fair to the communities who are suffering from the lack of resources and services that they deserve and so I think this takes us in the right direction. The city will now look to partner with a nonprofit organization to implement the pilot program, and they'll have to create a classification for the city employees who would be dispatched to the nonviolent call.